Hello, my pretties. The night is dark and the mood is dim. Glum are those at midnight hour as the crow caws unto the witch atop the house in the land of the walking dead. Ah ha ha ha! And now is the demise of Morgue official as the Hyperion foretold comes forth with logic and reason. <laughs> New higher level, a climax, a plateau, a crescendo of the highest truth that Adam and Eve had no damn belly button. (laughs) So let us go exploring that which is before us so we may see Mr. Morg's playmates as they call unto him. In Windsor, Ontario, death calls unto death. Mr. Morgue's death of the oblivion of the assassination and extermination of a rotten race of ignorant people who will not open their ears to truth. So die the hard way or die the easy way. Long life and prosper time to thrive and not just survive because death walks amongst the tombstones and the wolfbane blows in the darkest winds of the farts of all ghouls and gremlins grinning at the death that which comes this way even a world with no birds no fish no mankind left at all (laughs) just follow morgue and he will take you six feet under pushing up daisies literally where cobwebs grow deep and even the cats are chased by the rats and so be not a rat Uh, except to escape the foolishness of a man named Morgan Knight. (laughs) Because his daytime of his undoing is over now. And now, so shall it be with the Lord's word of truth that goeth forth from his mouth. For the Lord God says, I created evil, as it is written in Isaiah. And he created good, and he is good. And so in this hour, as as the vampires awaken for the midnight hour of bloodlust in the streets of Jerusalem, in the days of the murderous rage of Elijah, And Moses, who is not me, I am only the Elijah writer of Isaiah. Line by line, precept by precept, would that strong and mighty one of the Spirit come forth as a destroying storm to destroy Christianity because it is born of Dante's inferno and it is born not of what the Bible actually says. And so in this hour, it is time for he who is the storm of love to come forth and as a destroying storm, even as a hailstorm, even as a supernova, to destroy all gross darkness of this age. (laughs) So let love reign because the God of Christianity is the devil, and he has been removed for uh, 1,000 years in accordance with Daniel 12, 1. For the true Lord God has never been a respecter of men, has never had any favorites. It is a sin to be so. Nor has he said, I am your God. Do as I say. Don't do as I do. And everyone who does not believe he is love, he has to fry alive forever in the deepest horrors of the pus of the, from the ass of the old Diablo, the old snake of Eden, Beelzebub, Mephistopheles. Yeah, the snake of Eden is that 
star, fallen star. And so, my pretties, know in this hour of Morg's undoing that he could never debate anything with this Hyperion, for I know it is time for the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, because God's word was only closed until the time of the end, Daniel 12, 9, for I am the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, and I arise to embrace my destiny as the Elijah of this age, one who would restore all truth that there is, never has been any damn good man, Romans 3, 10, <laughs> we've always been assholes, we'll always be assholes, but guess what? Uh, even though there is no good man, if love, who is Christ Jesus, the secret name of Christ, of Mark 4, to whom all knees shall bow, even the gremlins and dirty imps of the world, even the Satanists like Anton LaVey. Watch his deathbed confession of Anton LaVey, where he realized that God truly is love. And so in this hour, it is revealed that the true Lord God has always been the Lord God of all mankind, and Christians have not that God. And Jesus Christ Almighty has always been the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. John 10, ha ha ha, on the world, they get a shit pie in the eye, diarrhea crap shit, pour down their throat, diarrhea like a chocolate malted, up their nose with rubber hoses, so the horrors of death will arise as the dead come alive, as all the little pretties of Morg's troop go ballistic over the actual understanding that death begats death and lifelessness alone begats lifelessness. And it is time to free ourselves from the horrors of the chains that have entombed us all. It is time to grow fangs, to take a bite out of religion, to pull it down for the shattering of the power of the holy people on this Halloween and every Halloween to come. For God is not a respecter of man and he loves everyone, uh, not a little bit. He deeply adores us. And he says unto all little pretties, I am your God. You are my people. I have forgiven all of your wretchedness all of your iniquity, and I will never remember it again. And I will write my law in my love and my law of love herein upon your hearts. Beyond that, none shall ever even need to be taught of me. For truly the shattering of the power of the holy people, it is time to get a close up on evil becoming decimated, to have the gross darkness that has covered all the earth, to be revealed and the veil removed from off all nations. <laughs> and I am Captain R, so make sure you come and see me sometime. Are you ready for that? Are you willing? Are you able? So let's do a, a brief recap for the walking dead of the earth who think they have the true Lord instead of uh, he who is the dark Lord now removed. And so let us understand that the true Jesus has always been the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. He said so in John 10. And he has always been the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And because of this truth, uh, false has been the Jesus 
of distortionality. We have been seeing through a glass darkly, the word of God says, and we've only been knowing in part, only seeing in part. But in these days of Elijah, the now that uh, the wise may see and shine as the stars, as they behold the utter truth, that we have nothing but desolate heritages. Christians stole the Bible from the Hebrews. <laughs> And then they committed the sin of Esau and stole the birthright of the older. The younger stole the older. And then they said, we are Israel. <laughs> and not only that, all the prophecy is for us, said Christianity. And then they stood upon the kingdom age new covenant that was foretold to be given in the latter days. <laughs> A covenant that God never gave <laughs> until behold the messenger who would prepare the way of the Lord until his Elijah gave it. His alcoholic, <laughs> his alcoholic Shiloh, whose eyes are red and dull of wine. He whose uh, teeth are milky white uh, because I can click them because uh, you know why? Because they're fake. I'm a 61-year-old man, and Morg's reign of terror is now over. He cannot solve any unity issues of mankind. God can solve them all, for he has loved every alcoholic just as much as every Christian. And the previous video right underneath this one proves beyond a shadow of a doubt until everyone who is as brain dead as the Christians has been, it's time for the lights to go out. And that is the truth.